Hello viewers, welcome to another exciting edition of God's Eye. In this edition, we would be looking at the reasons why thousands of Russians are fleeing out of the country. But before we continue please turn on the subscription button and hit the notification bell for more updates. Russia's first large-scale mobilization since World War II a call for troops to fight in Ukraine has prompted attacks on its borders and raised concerns among neighboring countries. Exits from Russia into the country saw long queues along and across the borders of the huge country. Officially, Moscow says it needs 300,000 troops and gives preference to those with recent military experience. However, two of his newspapers based outside Russia reported that the aim was to mobilize at least one million people. This caused outrage as many who had never served in the army or were under draft age were already in combat. Rumor has it that most of the mobilized people will be placed outside the central Russian regions of Moscow and St. Petersburg in order to reduce the political risks of the Kremlin. It's unclear exactly how many people have fled Russia since President Vladimir Putin announced what he called a partial mobilization last Wednesday, but there are signs of a large-scale exodus. About 17,000 Russians have already crossed the Finnish border since last Wednesday's announcement, an 80% increase over the weekend compared to the previous week. The numbers have slowed down but remain busier than usual. One person who crossed over the weekend told reporters that he had traveled three hours by car from Russia's second largest city, St. Petersburg. They said they left for fear of being called. The Finnish government announced on Friday that it would bar all Russians from entering the country on tourist visas for the next few days, although exceptions could apply for humanitarian reasons. The country, which until recently declared neutrality because it fought across the border with Moscow in the past, is now preparing to join NATO in response to the war in Ukraine. As of Sunday, the estimated waiting time to enter Georgia from Russia was 48 hours, with more than 3,000 vehicles queuing to cross the border, Russian state media said, citing local officials. Quoted and reported. About 40,000 Russians have arrived in the Georgian capital, Belisi, since Moscow invaded Ukraine on February 24. A family traveling to Georgia, Dmitry Krylinok, his wife Irina and their little daughter, crossed Russia from Krasnodar to Mineralny Bodhi in the North Caucasus, and hired a local driver to pass the border crossing to Tbilisi. Did. It lasted several days. In an interview with reporters, he said, It's scary, for us, and for others. To die, to kill others, and for what? So we decided to run. In 2008, Russia was at war with Georgia over control of the separate territories of South Ossetia and Abkhazia. Georgia is still hostile to the Kremlin. In the Russian region of North Ossetia, north of the Caucasus Mountains that separate Georgia from neighboring countries, the Interior Ministry has ordered people not to leave the country. Her four EU member states, other than Finland, border on Russia. Two of them surround the Kaliningrad enclave, while the other four adjoin the mainland. The four countries recently decided to deny Russian tourists, limiting the possibility of Russians fleeing and using them as itineraries. The European Union has already banned direct flights between 27 member states and Russia and recently agreed to limit the issuance of Schengen visas that allow Russian citizens to travel freely across much of Europe. Some European officials see Russians fleeing the country as a potential security risk, as they may be spies or military agents. They also hope that keeping borders closed will increase pressure on Putin at home. Latvian Foreign Minister Edgar Zlinkovich said Thursday that many fugitives didn't care about killing Ukrainians, so they didn't protest. It is wrong to consider them conscientious objectives.